All right, so kicking it off at the charging station. I like it, okay? Not only does it tell you on the battery what charge life you're at, but it tells you on the charger with a green indicator. 20 volt VMAX lithium design. You guys should be pretty familiar with the lithium battery lineup by now. Most of the battery platforms are following this design with a fuel indicator to let you know just how charged your battery actually is. Comes in a nice green hardened case with some magnetic adapters. You get eight millimeter, six millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 12 millimeter. You also get uh, four Phillips number twos and you get a couple of flat heads. You get a little shoulder strap if you want one and you also get the belt clip. The belt clip does come in handy, not just for construction purposes, so you could throw it around your belt, but you can also hang it from your toolbox. Completely put together with battery, this tool comes in at around four pounds. That's pretty typical and comparable to some of the other 18 volt and 20 volt platforms in the market. Simple push of the button will tell you if it's 100% charge, 75%, 50, you get the idea. It is a brushless tool technology, and if you'd like to see the insides of this, Neil the maintenance man has taken this thing apart in one of his video posts that he's done. Comparing it to other products we'll do in other videos, we will compare it to the rigid product here a little bit later on in this video, but we will do some more side by side between the Makita and Milwaukee lineup later on. So I have a small project here. We're gonna be putting in a quarter inch adapter on here, and I'll show you a little bit later in the video. Uh, where you can buy the adapters because they got quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. You could usually pick the setup from Harbor Freight for about six bucks. In order to adjust your setting, you must engage a trigger. If you do not engage a trigger, you cannot adjust the setting. But if you uh, engage a trigger, you can adjust it from low, medium, to high speeds. Now we're going to keep it on setting number one or two uh, for this particular project. Now all I'm doing is a valve cover job. Okay, this should be pretty simple, down and dirty, real easy to do. Shouldn't require a lot of torque. Now this thing can, is capable of 221 foot-pounds of the breakaway torque. We don't need all that for this valve cover job. We're just going to see how it works out in the real world of automotive. Now typically with the hex driver, you're not going to be using it for valve covers, but there's going to be situations under the hood where you will use an 8 millimeter and 10 millimeter. You might even decide to step it to a 3 8 drive bit and put like 13 millimeter, 12 millimeter on there for some other fasteners. We're going to also be using a series of adapters to remove spark plugs from this because we're doing a tune-up, we're doing a valve cover, and there was one more thing that I think that we were doing to this, I forgot, oh, plug wires. So we're just gonna be checking it out. Now these things are coated in oil, these plugs. That's the reason why we're changing it. Uh, he had a valve cover gasket leak, it was getting all over the plugs. I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling and show you guys that all the way through, I didn't crack any of these loose. I just using the gun on setting number two to zap mount and it didn't disappoint. The tool overall feels really comfortable in my hand, very ergonomical. I love the green. That Kawasaki green kind of stands out to me. All right, so now we're gonna head back to my garage. We're gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison between the Chemo and the rigid Gen 5X that I have here at the house and just see how well they stack up against each other. And then I'll share my final thoughts and opinions and then you can share yours down below. So let's head back to the garage. Okay, so I know this was a little bit unpractical uh, to be using it on a valve cover job, but it's to show you that you could. And they do make the little adapters that you can put in for quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. More practical usage for something like this is gonna be for fender liner screws, underbody screws and fasteners, interior, uh, even drilling. They do make drill bits like this Bosch set that I've had for a little bit now. They do make hex drivable uh, drill bits as well as your Torx, your Phillips, your square drive, etc. We're going to do a little side by side comparison and just see how each one performs. Now, there's three different settings on both. We've got one, two, three on the rigid here at the very top with a selection switch. And then you've got three different settings here at the bottom, which I explained earlier in the video. It can only be applied if you press the trigger and then adjust your setting. So, we're going to start off with one on both tools. We're gonna see how each one performs at various speeds. You guys can be the stop, start, counter. So let's start off with the rigid real quick and we'll just drive one of these preset deck screws into this piece of wood I got. And they're both fully charged, okay? I wanna make sure that that's known. There's a fuel indicator on the rigid as well as on the chemo on the back. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to the chemo and setting number one. Start off with this set of deck screws, keep it all even. We're on number one. 
Wow. So far, I'm impressed just with the settings alone, okay? So we got setting number one, setting number one. That was setting number one. It did drive in the deck screw a heck of a lot faster than the rigid. All right, let's go to setting number two on both tools. So now we're at the medium speed on the chemo as well as the rigid. So we'll start off with the chemo since the bit's already on it and we'll jump over to number two. Wastes no time, doesn't it? All right, let's jump over to number two on the rigid. Hmm. Number two is going to be pretty dang close. I'll say that. I'll say that. All right, let's go to setting number three on both tools and just see how the output works on this. That was fast. Hopefully you guys caught that. That was pretty dang fast too. Let's see if we can go head to head. Lengthwise, they're about damn close. They are about the same. Metal touching metal on both the rings. So I think we go heads up now on setting number three for chemo and rigid. Let's get them both set up. Three, two, one. Well, the rigid got to a stopping point and couldn't go any further and we damn near drove the chemo all the way through the wood. All right, that's pretty damn even. Slide this back and get our camera set up here. All right, so now we're gonna do the overall test, rigid versus chemo, side by side, literally right on top of each other. And go. All right, so now that we got a good warm and fuzzy side-by-side -side opinion with all three speeds, what are my thoughts? Chemo in number one, faster than the rigid. Chemo and rigid in number two, I want to say they were pretty close. And in number three, clearly you saw there at the end, rigid blasted through the freaking water, right? But overall, I think it was still a comfortable drive, okay? There wasn't a lot of heavy duty impact behind it. What do I mean by that? Let me get one started. Okay, so this is a brushless system. This is a brushless system. Let's see. Okay, so a little bit of hammer action, a little bit of hammer action. All right, let's jump on over back to the rigid. see there at the very end it didn't have to start hammering in until the very end so that's gonna have a lot to do with torque and applied torque let's not dive into that too much okay so this tool coming in at about four pounds if I had to pick them both up side by side I feel like the rigid might weigh a little bit more they might come in pretty close um, this one's gonna have see it's 2800 rpm you get about 221 foot pounds worth of applied torque now you're not gonna need that for most cabinetry or even automotive screws and things like that. It is nice when you can actually put the little stepper adapters on there for quarter inch, three eighths, even up to uh, half inch. Uh, but realistically, what are you gonna use something like this for? Even in both platforms. Uh, cabinetry work, framing work, construction, uh, maybe roofing or even uh, home improvement kind of stuff. If you're a maintenance guy, it might be a nice lineup for you because it is gonna be more cost effective two-year warranty, lifetime warranty. This product here goes for $90. You get the battery, you get the tool, uh, you get the charger, you get a strap for your carrying case if you want. Uh, we talked about this, but you get the 12 millimeter, the 10, the eight, and six millimeter in the magnetic drive sockets to attach to your tool. And then you get uh, three, I'm sorry, four number two Phillips, and then you get a couple of flathead uh, adapters as well so that way you've got already a pretty good assortment of attachments to go with it. Alright so the company that gave me the chemo tool to do a review on also gave me an Amazon link for you guys to check out if you're interested in this product as well as other products that chemo sells. Their products can be found on Amazon. They have an array and assortment of uh, cordless tools not only the 20 volt but I believe even in the 12 volt 
You can get the angle die grinder, you can get like leaf blowers, you can get drills, hex drivers. I haven't looked into every single tool that they make, but look, they got a nice assortment, okay? So if you're looking for some affordable DIY at home tools, or you're just getting into the field of construction, or even uh, and in the maintenance, like my buddy uh, Neil from The Maintenance Man, and I'll put his channel link down in the description. He also has purchased and done his review where he actually takes the whole tool apart, shows you the inside and everything else. And I'll put that channel video as well as his channel link in the description for you. So check him out, The Maintenance Guy. So he was one of the reasons why I was curious about this product and wanted to try it out. So when the good people over at Kima reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try their 20 volt hex driver, I was like, well, hell yeah, I want to try it out. So uh, after seeing Neil do his video, I was like, I've got to check this thing out, man. Plus, it's in that Kawasaki green. <laughs> anyway, I think it's a phenomenal tool. I think anyone that has it's actually going to be pretty happy and impressed with it. Um, even down to the warranty option because you know what? Lifetime warranty or not, I've had this rigid set for a long, long time. I haven't had to warranty out anything on it. So this will be giving you two years. I think two years is pretty sufficient compared to the price that you pay for something like this versus what you pay for this. So those are my thoughts and opinions. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Thanks as always for watching. Cheers and deuces. It's a joke. Get it? Coronavirus? <laughs>